did you get the info on the uh, new locator by radio detection, the um, 8100 upgrade? Uh, it, it, yeah. The one that works with subsurface maps. Hey, look it. Whoa. He's, mis yeah, he's mislocating. He's, he's totally in the wrong spot. Should we help him? Yeah, I think yeah. we need to pull over and help this guy. Right. He doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Let's see what we're doing. Let's do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, 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 stop. Whoa, whoa. Put down the locator. Put down the locator. Let me have that baby. What were you trying to locate there? This gas line. The gas line? Yeah. Do you realize you were like 12 feet off? I was following the locator. Oh, what frequency are you using? 8 kilohertz. 8 kilohertz? Ooh. Yeah. Let's check the current real quick. Well, let's see. It's oh. not a bad frequency choice, but... Check this out. Look at he has the peak right there. Those arrows are telling him it's over here. But look at your current. 0.69. It's yeah, all it's over the place there. and the, it's all chattery. That's yeah. not a very good signal, buddy. Not a very good signal at all. We got anything else in this corridor? Oh, stronger signal here. Yeah, but looks like you're picking up cable. Cable. Yeah. Look cable. at that depth there. One foot five. I hope the gas is a little deeper than that. And you only got a 0 0.3132 milliamp reading and I got nothing. What do you think the problem is? Oh, I think this wire's got to be cut, or else it's just there's no anodes, older line. No continuity. There's no continuity back to ground. Yeah. That's when your higher frequencies, this is a little bit lower frequency, 8 kilohertz, can actually be helpful. So, do you have Bluetooth on this one? Yeah. So, 8100 yeah. with Bluetooth. So, let's change the frequency to what? What do you think, Brent? 30? Heck, I'd go even higher, but... Higher? Yeah. 65? 65. We got to... Just make sure you keep the current down. You don't want too much current if you're going to be using those high frequencies. I have a tendency to pick up everything. So going to 65 will probably possibly pick up another utility line here too, but we want to try to get um, a signal down this resistant line. High resistance requires a higher frequency, so let's see what we do here. And We may have to go back to the transmitter and actually uh, use a low frequency and ground the other end of this trace wire, but let's try this first. Am I not tall enough? You want me to give it a go? Uh, I can't see He's the tall guy from here. Yeah. I'd go to the top of the hill. I went to the top of the Double hill. Double beep means it. Means it's good. Changed. All right. Go for it. Let's see Let's if see you can find it now. this time. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's new. Yeah, there's a new spot. Yeah. Follow that out. See where it goes. goes right in this hole. Uh, hey! Yeah. There's a gas line down there. There it is. There it is. Well. So, the best thing to do would probably be go back and uh, use a lower frequency, but go to the other end of the tracer wire and ground it out. Make sure it's grounded. So then we have continuity for a low frequency to travel because those low frequencies won't bleed off onto everything. They won't bleed off onto that cable TV line now that we're picking it up. Even though we've had a process of elimination, we know now the gas is over here. Should we probably go back to the transmitter? You know, I think that would help a lot because usually we can detect these types of things just from our hookup. So why don't we go check it out? Check that out. Check the other end of the wire. See if it's grounded. Try to use a low frequency and see if our peak and null line up exactly on top of each other on top of this gas line. I bet it will. Sounds like a let's, plan. Let's you go. want to ride with us? Sure. Let's go. All right, so as we look at our, our transmitter, one of the things that we want to do is we want to hook up on 512 hertz. We like using these low frequencies. They're going to tell us something when we connect to a wire. They're going to tell us whether or not there's continuity. High frequencies, they're going to make their own continuity. And then, of course, they find a bunch of other lines. But for low frequencies, they tell us whether or not we have continuity, and they tell us also where electricity wants to go. So what we see right here on this transmitter is we're on 512 hertz, and each bar of output, each bar here is just trying to get a certain amount of current. We measure that in milliamps, and it's auto-adjusting the voltage like pressure on the line. Our pressure's staying pretty low, our voltage. 
and we're getting good current. If I try to get more and more current, what it's gonna do is it's gonna just raise the voltage to make it happen. Most locates can be done just fine with just two bars of output, oftentimes even just one bar of output. So we're getting good continuity. That means that our issue up ahead has gotta be related to the wire being in grounded that way and somehow finding ground this other direction. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to get out and locate this line. So I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna make a sweep and look for this line. I'm gonna start outside of where I anticipate the line to be at, press up on my gain, start making a sweep and anytime it starts to go up the screen, I just press down and then I can center it over this line. I've got about 25 mil of current. I'm gonna go this other direction. And I'm not really picking up hardly anything out here. So let's see where all this current's going to. One of the things that we need to do when we start to locate is we need to find out where that current is wanting to go to. to a spot my compass is starting to churn we've had good continuity this whole way let's see where our current wants to go my compass is churning now on the screen I was just still facing the same direction as I get closer that compass is bending more and more and it's taking me this way that means that either there's an anode or a short or something that's pulling our current this direction and where we're at locating before, we can't pick up anymore because that line is ungrounded. That's why the higher frequencies would help us out and help get electricity moving on this line that electricity doesn't want to move on as much when it's trying to get back to ground. This is where it's getting back to ground is this direction. So how many milliamps do you got going across the street That's where a we good, need to do the good locate? question. Let's see what I got here first. Well, can't have much because I have... 21 milliamps right here. Let's see. Oh, we're not even on the right line anymore. I've got almost four milliamps right here on this cable line and we're not on the gas line at all anymore. All this is is just return current that's back on the other line. So Let's go ground the other end. Don't you think that would make the difference? We, and pull the current this direction, the absolutely. direction we want. So we want to ground it down there somewhere, down the street, on well, the other side. How about I go back to the transmitter and you want to go ground the other end? Yeah, call me on the phone and I'll grab the uh, ground the other end. And, Sounds and, good. Uh, we'll try it. Is it still there? Okay, I'm grounded down here. Let's go ahead and try the locate. All right, we're on 512. Look at this. Peak response is right there. Null response right there. If I go to the guidance null mode, arrows are right there. Everything is within an inch or two of one another, and we got nothing else. It's definitely... Huge, strong signal depth reading is reading better it's five yeah. foot five and a half foot five foot ten inches right there and that's what it looks what it like in the, the bottom hole. of the hole and look at our current 22 milliamps you're good to go now this is definitely a good locate using a lower frequency grounding the other end of that wire made all the difference rock star <laughs>